All right, so uh, now I'm going to talk to you about estimating square roots. So it's nice when everything's a perfect square, as you've seen on your previous uh, per perfect square table form. And that doesn't always happen, though. So I have an example up here of the square root of 10. Now, if you refer to your table, the square root of 10 won't be on there. This is a non-perfect square. Meaning that there's not a whole number times itself that's going to equal 10. So what we do is we look at our perfect square table and we find two perfect squares that are in between 10. So if I, if I look at my table, I notice that the square root of 10 is in between the square root of 9 and the square root of 16. Okay? And that's the first step in helping me determine what the square root of 10 is approximately equal to. So the square root of 9 is equal to a whole number, which is 3. And the square root of 16 is equal to a whole number, which is 4. OK, so now I'm one step even closer. But I have to consider how close the square root of 10 is to each of these numbers. So what I want to look at is this base of 10 and consider how many places it's away from the base of 9, and consider how many places it's away from the base of 16. So if you consider this, um, from 9 to 10 is a difference of 1, and from 10 to 16 is a difference of 6. So this is, the square root of 10 is much closer to 3, than it is to four, the whole numbers. Okay. So since we're just estimating, we're going to say that the square root of three, there's a whole bunch of numbers in here, is much closer, maybe it's, it's, maybe it's in this, I'm sorry, the square root of 10, it's much closer to three, so it's over there. So I am just estimating that the square root of 10, this is the sign for approximately, um, is approximately equal to the whole number three, we're just gonna go out to the tenths place, three point, I'm gonna say 3.1. I'm just estimating, um, that's a logical answer because I know that it's much closer to the whole number three than it is the whole number four. So I can approximately say that 3.1 is equal to uh, a square root of 10. So let's try the next one, the square root of 20. You're going to look on your sheet and decide what two perfect squares that's in between. OK, looking at my sheet, it's in between the square root of 16 in the square root of 25, okay? Now, I want to consider what whole numbers the square root of 16 is equal to, which is four, and the square root of 25 is equal to five, okay? Now I have to determine if my number, the square root of 20, is closer to the four or closer to the five. And remember, I do that by comparing the difference. So this is four units apart, and this is five units apart. Well, four units is, is slightly closer than five units. So I am going to say that, that the square root of 20 is equal to, oops, oops approximately equal to 4.4, okay? And by saying 0.4 or 4 tenths, I indicate that it is closer to 4 
than it is five, just slightly closer to four than it is five. All right, let's try the last example I have here. Square root of two. All right, so I look at my sheet and the square root of two is in between the square root of one and the square root of four. Well, the whole number, square root of one, is equal to one, and the square root of four is equal to two. So now I have to determine if the square root of two is closer to one or whole number two. Well, using my differences, I see that this is only one unit apart, and this is two units apart. So I do want to say that it's closer to whole number one. So the square root of one, I'm sorry, square root of two is approximately equal to, I'm going to say 1.2. Okay. Um, we're just approximating. These are, these answers are um, just using my best educated um, knowledge and guess as to what they would be equal to. Um, using logic, we can, we can get to that, that determination. Now you can go back and check your work, see how close you were by doing 3.1 times 3.1 and seeing how close it comes out to 10. Okay, so I want you to stop the video and go ahead and try some practice problems.